Welcome back to the big red chair. <laughs> All right. Um, I really like the way this looked uh, when I shot it last time, but this time I'm gonna give myself a little bit more depth of field. I had like this much. It was like going in and out of blurring. But anyway, hey, that's what happens. We're, we're starting a new vlog here. We're, we're working out the kinks, right? Um, speaking of which, we, uh, this channel, viewership is up 80%. We've got nine, nine subscribers. How awesome is that? I'm really excited about that. Um, I mean, huge, huge. Just look at the arc. I should have a chart, a graph. Um, let's, let's hope we can sustain this, this type of growth over the next few quarters. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so today I wanted to talk about um, progress versus perfection. And I, um, you know, I, I don't know who, who said it. Um, I mean, I don't even know if it's, it's a quote. It's progress, not perfection. That's what we're looking for. Um, and uh, that goes in all, all corners of my life. Um, one of the things I, I do a lot is, uh, you know, I, I, I like fitness, um, functional fitness. I study martial arts, things like that. And it's always about, um, I always have to tell myself, you know, progress, not perfection. You know, when I'm trying to learn something new, it's, it's, it's the progress that I want to mark, not trying to perfect it. Um, and, uh, you know, it, that also goes into photography. Um, this is a scary concept because a year from now, I, my, my goal would be my greatest picture that I took, let's say this year, a year from now, I should cringe when I look at it and be like, oh my God, what, what? Um, and while that would be unnerving because you're kind of like, oh, you know, that photo, you know, it is, you're not really thrilled with something that you loved prior. Um, the thing with it is you got to look at the growth and it's like, if you've grown that much, um, you know, you can't be unhappy with that. Come on. Even if you have to sacrifice a fantastic, um, portfolio, it's, you're like, if, if you've grown enough that you're like, oh my God, I just, I can't handle looking at that. Um, then that's growth. Um, and that goes for this vlog too. So. That's where I wanted to get to. Um, I came up with, uh, I started thinking about this vlog probably two years ago, two, three years ago. And I actually uh, went and shot and edited um, a little tutorial, a little Photoshop tutorial, kind of a proof of concept, see what I could do with this. Um, and at the time I liked it. I, I thought it was, I thought it was really cool and uh, I was like, oh wow, that's neat. Uh, it did take me a long time, did it in my basement. Um, but now I look at it and oh my God, it is so boring. Um, and uh, it's, <laughs> it is something. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show it. Um, and you know, I'm gonna put it out there because, because you, you know, one, that helps everyone grow. And uh, two, you know, it, it does have good information in it, but um, it, it's just not any, I don't know. I don't know, you need to check it out. Why don't we go, let's go look at it. Hi, I'm Rob Nitch, professional photographer out here on Cape Cod. Today I'm going to be talking about communication between Photoshop and Lightroom, specifically file formats. Photoshop writes out two native file formats. One is a PSD, one is a PSB. PSD is great, but it's limited to two gigs in file size. The PSB is limitless. I use this for architectural photography. Sometimes I'll have 70 to 80 
layers of raw images stacked on top of each other. These files get big fast. The only problem is Lightroom doesn't read in the large file format. So I had to create a workaround so I could catalog my images in Lightroom and make Lightroom adjustments. Why don't we take a look at how I did this? Here we are in Lightroom. As you can see, I've created a folder that contains my PSB file. If we look inside that folder, we can see that the PSB file is nearly 6 gigs in size. Let's move over to Photoshop. Open up the PSB file. Select all. Edit copy and create a new document. The dimensions will be correct because we copied them. Now, let's place linked and select our PSB file. Accept the transforms, and now save it out as a PSD file. Let's return to Lightroom. Import into the folder that we were using. Navigate to that folder. Select the new PSD file. Make sure our import settings are cor correct. And import. Now we have our PSD file contained inside a PSD file that is read in successfully at Lightroom. And of course, we can make any of the adjustments that we normally make inside of Lightroom. All right, what did you guys think of that? It, it was something, wasn't it? Did you catch the continuity errors? I mean, for someone that's worked in feature films, you know, the, the continuity errors with uh, the hair and the beard, you know, I, I took enough uh, attention to detail to wear the, the same outfit, but I shaved my head and, and my beard. Oh my gosh, that's pretty funny. Um, anyway, uh, you know, it was pretty embarrassing to show that. Um, I gotta, I, for some reason, it was in my head, and it was it was before I kind of got into the YouTube thing, that to be a photographer and to to that you kind of needed to be, I don't know, stiff and and scientific, and that's not what photography is. It's it's experimental and, and artistic. Um, yeah, there are some technical things and, you know, I think we latch on to the technical side and we need to get it so right and so absolute that, that it makes our personalities stiff and that's not who I am. And uh, that's not what this channel is going to be about. Um, but it's funny because I've seen, uh, you know, a lot of 
vloggers and, and stuff that are, are really pushing the envelope and, um, you know, putting good content out and making it fun and making it look awesome. So um, that's where I want to be. That's the space I want to be. That's the vibe I want to put out. So thanks for joining me this week. Um, like, subscribe, comment. I want to hear from you guys. Um, and uh, I want to keep this thing going. I am having a great time with it. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see where it goes.